Hey, what's up everyone? Mike here from The Art of Guitar. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I sometimes forget to let you know that I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I kind of got nostalgic the other day because we're coming up on 400,000 subscribers soon. And uh, I look back at all the videos we did over all these years. And I actually looked at some of the analytics, which I usually don't do. And I noticed that as far as subscribers go, the chart was really interesting to look at because if you check it out, let's, let's see. I'll put it in front of you guys. I'll just check out on my phone here. Uh, from about 2009, as you can see, all the way up till the end of 2017, it's basically nothing. It's like flatlined. <laughs> and I thought about how a lot of things in my life go that way. They'll be flat for a long time, sometimes even, you know, a decade or so. And then out of nowhere, there's some sort of weird tipping point. And for me, it was a couple of videos that I had released, uh, one of them called The Simple Scale, and the other one was a, was it a Met yeah, Metallica Enter Sandman video where I screwed up the original lesson and I kind of apologized and retaught it. And for some reason, those two videos caught on pretty, pretty big and actually put us on the map. And after that, everything started snowballing, which is kind of a cool, con uh, cool result of The Tipping Point. If you ever read the Malcolm Gladwell book, The Tipping Point, or even Outliers, I recommend it. It's all about this stuff. Anyways, uh, so I was thinking about how it wasn't just those two videos that created the boom in my world. What it was was the consistency over those 10 years or so where there was nothing going on. And I realized that's the same with my jujitsu. For a long time, I was losing all my matches. Everything I did seemed like an uphill battle. And then because I just kept going and going and going, something finally turned. I wish I had a chart for that as well. But when it comes to guitar playing too, you know, a lot of people practice and they don't see very much progress happening. You know, maybe they plateau at first. They're doing really well because when you first play guitar, it seems like you're learning a lot of stuff. And all of a sudden it's easy to sort of flatline again or plateau. And that's when a lot of people give up. Now, if you take a look at my chart, I would say a lot of people would give up right about here. And more ambitious people might give up or throw in the towel or whatever you want to say a little bit further on. But still, as you can see, it's a shame because they might have been right at the precipice of taking off into that next level. And when you finally get to that next level, uh, this happened to me recently with drumming and double kick, uh, kick drum playing, which I'll do a video on soon. What I noticed was there's a weird feeling of realizing what all the work was for. When suddenly you're playing and things feel effortless all of a sudden, things that used to be really difficult, uh, such a great feeling. And then you're actually playing and kind of smiling and breathing and you're feeling relaxed. That's when you know you've reached this level of mastery that you never probably thought was possible before. So this, I don't want to make this your typical don't give up type video, but I want you to know that sometimes the tipping point is right around the corner, but a lot of the times that has to be backed by a lot of consistency and experience. So the idea of overnight success is sort of a fictitious idea. And I remember when after my video started taking off and more and more people were watching it, uh, we were stuck at a couple hundred subscribers for a long time. When I got to a couple thousand, I thought I had made it. And then uh, it just went insane. And when we first got our first YouTube plaque uh, hanging over there, and when that happened, a few of my private students saw that and said, wow, you're so lucky. You know, I can't believe you have a YouTube plaque. And then I kind of laughed again inside because I keep thinking whenever someone says you're lucky, or, oh, it's easy for you to do or whatever. I always kind of go back to thinking of how much work and consistency went into something like that. And now that there's a chart that I could see in the analytics section, analytics section, I feel like I could show that to everybody whenever they say I'm lucky and say, well, if you call this luck, then I guess I'm really lucky because <laughs> luck can sure take a long time and a lot of work. But when you start really taking off and it starts to kind of uh, snowball for you, it's really strange how it's almost like the effort continues on your part uh, but it sort of takes off on its own and there's a momentum that's really hard to stop and the momentum really picks up your creativity as well in some cases so whenever I get a comment about you know people thinking I'm gonna run out of ideas or something like that I know it can never happen because no matter what I do every time I sit down with a guitar something new seems to come to me and it makes me want to create another video so that's part of that momentum that really starts started to carry me after a long time there's a book called the artist's way that really talks about this where you wake up in the morning and you just write out these morning pages and it's kind of to get the ball rolling so kind of the same snowball effect I'm talking about uh, same goes for songwriting as well if you just write 
as many songs as possible at first. Just get them out. Suddenly that momentum and that snowballing effect happens and pretty soon the gems start coming to you. And that's when you really see the payoff of all your effort and all your consistency. So whenever you feel like you're kind of bummed out, you know, you're not getting anywhere with, you know, maybe you're starting a guitar channel or you're trying something on guitar, you just can't seem to do it. Uh, just remember my chart and hopefully that doesn't depress you. It usually takes me a long time to figure things out. That's why it took probably 10 years for me, but it might be a lot quicker for some of you guys. And, uh, you know, quick being quick isn't really the ultimate goal either because really you're going to have a lot of satisfaction the more effort you put into it but i'm here to tell you that you will see results if you just keep that consistent attitude happening keep them coming out keep practicing keep picking up that guitar every single day and uh, who knows maybe even just in a few years you can get to places you'd never thought was possible uh, use my chart as inspiration if you have to okay i hope you guys hit that tipping point with guitar and uh, let me know in the comments if it's already happened to you or if you feel like you're right on the edge of it. And even let me know if you're considering quitting soon because you're just not feeling like you're getting anywhere and that you're not making, making any progress, okay? Maybe a few people can comment and help you out, or I will if I can, and uh, let you know what's right around the corner, hopefully, for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.